up guys and welcome back to my channel I'm back again with another video and today we are back in the Vogue showroom and I find some interesting two interesting bikes actually there are a number of bikes here but I find these two very interesting so I'm gonna I'm gonna show them to you right now in detail it's quite noisy here in the showroom obviously I'm not the only one here but I'm sure you'll be able to hear me so let's start from the front here. So from the front, uh, this is an adventure style bike. Uh, let me just move on to the side. So that's an adventure style bi bike by the brand Vogue. Um, if you have been following my channel, I made a previous video about Vogue a long time ago. And I'll try to link it up there. But yeah, this is from the Vogue brand. And let me just start from the front. So it has a general outlook of an adventure motorcycle, but with many curves and angles which makes it look really aggressive and really nice um, going down to so this is a general front view of the motorcycle nothing really exciting but let me go closer and show you some details so these are this is how the headlamp looks like and I believe it's all LED around and might have daytime running lights I'll be taking a look at that shortly because this one seems to have battery in it. And interestingly, it also has integrated fog or auxiliary uh, lights on both sides, which is really cool. And it also has this very nice aggressive beak, which feels solid. And if we look in here, that is a radiator tucked in there. And you can see the cap for the radiator really really cool and it's kind of raised not in the way of the debris that will be rolled up from the tires so it looks like it's safe from debris and as you can see it's got this radiator guard already installed it is plastic but it looks really solid and will do the job so you don't need to re reinstall any aftermarket exhaust uh, sorry a radiator guard when you obtain this bike and you have your cables running down and yeah let's take a look at the suspension the front forks uh, it doesn't have any labeling it looks like it's uh, from uh, Vogue itself it doesn't look like any doesn't have any branding to show that is coming from any top end uh, manufacturer but overall it looks good and if I just take a look at the brake department the braking department comes with Nissan calipers and that is really really neat Nissan of course is you can find it on many Japanese bikes very reliable brakes and if you look at the front tires it comes with Metzler um, Torrance Metzler Torrance labeled here front so it is 110 80 rim 19 just like on the uh, Honda CB500X and um, you have twin discs so expecting some strong powerful braking there and you also have ABS obviously as you have on all bikes so yeah pretty standard here but Nissan brings a touch of confidence <clears throat> and I'm just gonna move on to the side so let's take a look at the uh, branding here so you have more aggressive um, fairings all plastic obviously to reduce weight just as and as usual just as you see on many Chinese bikes now you have uh, crash guards already installed on the bike so you don't need to worry about crash guards aftermarket and this might this protruding end might come in handy if you're riding and you're tired and you need to rest your leg so it it plays a double role of protecting the bike and also acting as an extra support and it looks like it's built high quality if you're familiar with BMW the bolts and nuts that they use it's very very similar here um, one it prevents it makes it difficult for thieves to steal parts because it's not easy to come by uh, these sort of uh, screwdrivers that can undo these bolts and also it screams quality uh, let's look at the engine engine block on the left side of the bike 
and I'm just looking at this coolant inlet and it looks the positioning looks exactly like that on the Honda CB 500 X and you get your gear lever I'm not sure I don't think this has a quick shifter and it also has your uh, side stand which feels really solid and you have a sender stand also pre-installed from factory what else would you want and if you look in there you have your springs your rear spring which I can see clearly but I believe Hayes does a good job keeping the bike balanced and nicely suspended and you have your rear pegs very standard for a while it feels really nice and tactile don't know if you can hear that feels really really good and it's solid metal no rubber going on here um, suspending from maybe hollow pipes I guess and you have your frame you have your chain let's see where the chain is coming from chain is coming from Choho the Choho brand I've seen it around I'm not familiar with it but I've seen it around so if you can look here it's an LX 500-Y so it's a 525 it's a 525 cc motorcycle so you have your nice sprocket kind of strange design but as long as it works and you have spoked wheels guys just like every adventure bike should have spoked wheels gold shiny rims something that i like personally and on the rear you have your rear Messler tire and let's just take a look at the arm so the rear is 150 17 rim 17 rear tire size really solid looking you have your markings it's getting really noisy here pardon me guys you get your rear markings on the frame for adjusting the, the chain and um, if we take a look at the the turn signals they are blacked out with LEDs inside which is really cool you have your number number plate installation point and this soft rubber here will keep prevent your your number plate from rattling about because it sits on it and then you screw it up here so that's really cool and you have your brake lights interestingly the whole brake light even the um the external plastic is the leds are in there but external plastic is all red these days most motorcycles will have it transparent and then the lights determine what it does but it's all red here uh, not bad and you also have a rear rack pre-installed and you have crash gas for the back as well and i believe they double as um holders for side side panniers and you have so i have exhausts and that's the exhaust outlets twin outlets some car carbon fiber on the end part of it with some aluminum and plastic to prevent you from burning yourself and a standard you have ABS on the rear and you have Nissan one uh, disc and I believe a single caliper Nissan brake on the back and yeah so moving on on the right side of the bike yeah the the right rear for rear uh, peg for the rear passenger you have your brake fluid reservoir for the rear brakes you have your standard foot peg for the rider these i believe you can't you can undo uh, but it looks like it doesn't have any teeth for adventure you're left with that you have a very solid looking brake uh, feels kind of soft don't know if it's adjusted or that's how it is maybe it gives a sort of a progressive and not a grabby uh, sort of effect when applied and uh, let's take a look at the engine on the right side so this is a 525 cc motorcycle and uh, it's looking all good blacked out you have your right rear your right uh, guard as well and then the right side of the front wheel so yeah 
So coming from the top, let's start from the seats. So you have your rear carrier, and you have your passenger seat. It's actually very, very firm. I don't know if it's going to be comfortable, but they say the sweetness is in the eating of the pudding. So until you try it, you never know how comfortable it is. And you have a very nice wide seat on the rear part of the rider seat. And as you move forward, it kind of narrows down to give you this very nice um, area that your, your, your knees and your thighs will sit. And it will have some wind protection as well because it widens out as you get to this part. So I believe there will be some wind protection. But if we just go slowly up, then you can see a quite steep rise on the fuel tank until you get to this flat area where you have your fuel cap. Um, solid feeling. You need a key to open it. It's not keyless. And uh, this is what the um, ignition area looks like. I'll turn on the ignition in a minute, but let me just go on to the controls. So on the left side, you have, as usual, your driving mirrors, your clutch. Uh, you have your lighting control, so flash to pass. And then you have high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam, as you see on many bikes nowadays. And you have TCS, I believe it's traction control. Yeah, I believe it's traction control. And um, you have this enter button to enter your menu. And I believe this one is for controlling the menu. I'll turn it on in a minute so you can see. And you have your turn signals as well. So yeah, it feels very tactile, just like on high-end bikes. And you have the horn button right here, nicely placed and the size of the grip handle is just perfect for uh, for a rider especially when you're wearing gloves it's not too thick and um, you have this button here which i believe is for turning on the fog signals fog lights that i showed you earlier so yeah if you don't need a fog lights you don't need to keep them on that is really neat and if we move on to the right handlebar so you have your accelerator here and if you can hear it means it's cable it's not electronic so uh, that looks good and we have abs button as well so it means you can most likely turn off the abs and you have a mode button here which will show on the screen and you have your ignition button here your front brakes fluid reservoir and um, once again this feels really good now this handlebar is not as thick as that on the honda cb500x but it is almost the same but just a, a little bit smaller and it's curved just like a kawasaki not widened out so that's really good and um, you have adjustable front suspension but you need a screwdriver to do that on both sides for rebound and well I'm not sure what it does but I know you have to the left is hard setting and to the right is soft setting on both sides and just like on good Chinese bikes now you have a 12 volt socket that you can use for inflating your tires or doing other powering other devices and added to that, you also have a USB, one USB port here for those long journeys. I believe these things should be standard on all bikes nowadays because we're in a technology world. And you have the this uh, windshield, which I see a spring here. I believe it's adjustable, but I'm not sure how to how the mechanism works, but it kind of yields when i try to move it so i believe there's a mechanism for that and if you can see i believe when you're picking this bike up there will be crash guards installed for you because if you take a look at this it looks like provision has been made for crash guards and it's very clear on this side so it looks like the end connection comes here and then it bolts onto this one here so that's really, really cool. And then you have your LED front tank signals. Overall, the bike is looks longer in the front 
and uh, it feels like it, it it's a little bit longer than that of my Honda CV500 eggs but let's go on and look at the um, the dash or the um, infotainment system so turning on the ignition this is what you see and yeah it looks really really nice has a lot of information so you have you have tire pressure monitor here front rear you have your fuel gauge you have your oil light neutral uh, water temperature 23 degrees at the moment that's the um, ambient temperature in Shanghai now which is also the temperature of the water and you have your trip you have your modes mode selector indication here traction control you have the ABS you have your engine light you have time up, up there and you have your speedo in the middle I'm not sure if you can change the conf configuration but let's just so turn signal indicator right there and it's not this solid it's one of these things that cars are doing nowadays where it flashes from left to right and on the left side as well and it's nicely synced not like other bikes I've seen before and you have oh, so when I press the mode button this is what happens so you can switch from I believe it's date to time and you also have mode on this side so when I click it So you have sport, it looks like S is sport, economy, sport, economy. So that's that's really, really nice. And uh, you get hazard lights. Something that still annoys me that is not on the um, my 2019 version of the Honda CB500X. So you get hazard lights here, standard. So let's take a look at the lighting system and see how it fares. So with the ignition on, this is the daytime running light that you have. It's really, really cool. I like it. And this is how the rear lights look like. Uh, let's see how it looks when you apply the brakes. Okay, so overall guys, that's the Vogue 525 LX500Y adventure motorcycle um, I think it looks really good what do you think guys for anyone who doesn't have the money or the budget for an expensive bike this might be one of the ones you want to consider and you can see all the features that the bike comes with it's very very appealing and um, I just asked and the price is if you want it to come standard with the three boxes on the back luggage boxes then it's about 37,000 and some change RMB that's Chinese Yuan and in US dollars that's about five thousand dollars and a little change so five thousand dollars for this bike guys I know there are people out there who still don't trust Chinese bikes but I can tell you living here for so many years you see a lot of their bikes on the road and people don't seem to people that I know who own them they don't seem to complain about any problems because I mean you have Nissan and most of them come with Bosch computer systems and with some brands they use high-end suspensions and all that plastics are the same on any bike but as long as the essential parts are, are, are built with recognized brands I believe that the quality is not too far so if you are on the fence and you don't have the budget to buy a high-end bike this might be one of the bikes that you want to consider this is one of the things that I try to do on my channel to bring we already know so many high-end bikes and there are so many videos out there but I know there are quite a few people out there who want budget bikes but they have no opportunity to see them so being available in China I from every now and then try to bring you footage of some of these bikes that I find that I think might be a good choice for some of the budget buyers out there so guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video brings you value and it helps you make a decision. Vogue 525 LX500Y is the bike that I just showed you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.